15 millimeter socket and we're going to break free the passenger side motor mount nut. Now we're going to take the nut off the stud on the driver's side mount. That's a 15 millimeter socket. Now we've lowered our vehicle and we're going to take the nut off the top. That's a 15 millimeter. And I'm going to break it free. For the driver's side motor mount, I'm going to take the airbox out of the way. So I'm just going to undo these metal clamps. Take the air breather hose off. And then we're going to disconnect it from the thr air throttle body up here. And that's just a clamp. Sometimes you can get a flathead screwdriver. It works a lot easier. I'm just going to go like that. Make the tools your friend. Now you can just grab that and wiggle it off. Now we're going to remove the air box bottom. It's mounted to the fender well. And we can see we're going to disturb a little neighborhood mouse house. But 13 millimeter socket. I'm going to take this mounting bolt off out of the way. Pull that out of there. And I'm going to use a 13 deep over here. Let's see if we can break this free. Look at that. The leaves kept it from rusting. Now we can lift the box up and actually dispose of the neighborhood house. So here's the location of the bolt that goes down through. All the other ones are 15 millimeter socket. This one seems to be half inch or 13 millimeter. And we'll break that free. Now with the floor jack in it down on the ground with a piece of wood on it, I'm going to grab this first thing is I want to try. I'm going to try the bell housing because it's sturdy and I won't dent the oil pan that way. And I'm going to see if I can lift this up enough to take that pressure off. That's perfect. Just enough. We can get them out and we're not even doing, barely touching the firewall, so we're all set. 18 millimeter sockets seem to fit. I'm gonna put a wrench on the back nut. I'm gonna bring my half inch gun in this way with a swivel and see if I can get this mount loose. Now with the pressure off, that bolt should just come right out. So now we're going to get the passenger side. Now we're going to install the new motor mount on the passenger side. And the stud part goes in. Now there's a couple of ways you could do this. Like I could mount this on the frame. And just let it drop down in. Like that. And then lower the car down. Or I could put the bolt in and then lower the car down slowly to line this up. Then tighten it up. So there's two ways to do this. So I'm going to line, put the stud, line it up with the slot because it's easier to load the engine on it and put the big bolt through once that stud's lined up in the frame. There we go. Now you can see that everything's tilted a little bit here, but I'm going to leave it like that and I'm going to put the, the bolt in, start it by hand, don't tighten it because the engine's tilted back so it's got to move forward to fall down level. So I'm just going to start this so it's a nice easy guide point when I load the engine down. And this is the driver's side mount. All right, now I have both mounts in. I'm going to lower my floor jack just slowly and keep an eye on it and keep checking it to see if I can get the big bolt to go through, line it up. Let's see where I'm at. Grab one of my bolts. Okay. 
something nice. I'm just going to hand tight everything. There we go. We'll put the nut on. Now to tighten, I'm going to use my 3 8 gun because the torque spec is 48 foot pounds. So I know that I can at least snug it up with my 3 8 gun. Forty-eight foot-pounds, and now torque the passenger side to forty-eight foot-pounds. Now we have our main bolts in and torqued, so I'm going to lower the engine onto the support brackets. Now I can tighten up this mount bracket over here, thirteen millimeter socket. Now install the nut on the stud on the passenger motor mount. Now before I raise the vehicle up, I'm going to reinstall my air box. Got rid of the uh, tenets. 13 millimeter socket. We install the air filter, now we can put the cover on. So you're gonna line up these grooves into the little slots on the back. Put on the metal clips, slide that right over the throttle body, make sure it's snug, and then take your clamp and just squeeze it. Take our vent hose. Now we can install the nut on the stud from the bottom. I'm just going to hand start it and then I'm going to put the driver's one on first next to me. Put the driver's side nut on the mount stud. And now we can tighten them up. 15 millimeter socket.